Plot code is the best coding agent at the moment. It can work with large code bases, uh, modify a lot of files, and solve like, complex programming problems. But there is a way to make it even better by giving Cloud Code access to the browser. Imagine if you use Cloud Code for creating a website, uh, and uh, Cloud Code can open the browser, run this website, open it, fill the forms, click buttons, and uh, make screenshots, analyze what's on the page, and even see uh, what's in the browser console to debug your application. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Playwright MCP with Cloud Code. Uh, so if you are interested, uh, continue watching. I assume that you have Cloud Code installed. Uh, if not, you can um, use this command uh, to install it. And uh, it can work with either your Anthropic API key or it can use your Claude um, Max or Pro subscription, um, which I recommend uh, if you want to cost optimize and uh, test uh, better models like Opus, which are quite expensive if you use them uh, with API. Once you have Claude Code installed, uh, you need to install uh, Playwright MCP. Uh, MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, and uh, basically it's uh, a way to add some um, third-party tools to an agent or to an LLM. And so if you add Playwright MCP specifically, um, your Cloud Code agent will have tools like open the browser, click link, click button, fill the form, make a screenshot, and uh, the agent will decide in real time uh, which tool to use. So for example, uh, if you ask it, hey, can you open this uh, page and um, like give me feedback? It will decide, okay, I need first to use tool open browser and to use tool uh, make a screenshot, and then continue processing this screenshot. In order to install Playwright MCP, you can open this, um, this link I'll uh, attach to the video. Um, and uh, this is MCP uh, created by Microsoft. So you can scroll down and find Claude Code here. And uh, you just need uh, to take this command, copy it, then uh, go you to your uh, terminal and uh, run it. Cool. So you see that uh, I already had MCP installed, um, but uh, if you don't have it, it will be installed in your uh, Cloud Code configuration. Once uh, Playwright MCP is installed, uh, you can run Claude. OK, cool. Now we are inside Cloud Code. And uh, in order to make sure that we have it installed, we can run uh, slash MCP. And uh, you can see that uh, Playwright is here. Uh, OK, and this is connected. It means that uh, we have all the tools available. Um, so uh, let me show you how I use uh, Playwright uh, during the development. So I have this service uh, called Agent Wrap. Agent Wrap is the tool that allows you to run Cloud Code in the cloud. And basically, I use Cloud Code a lot to develop this service that runs Cloud Code. So uh, let's say I uh, have this landing page and I want to get some feedback um, from Cloud Code. So I wanted to open this uh, website locally, make some screenshots, and provide me uh, like feedback not just about the text, which it can read from the code, but also about visually how it feels, how it looks like. In this case, I can open Cloud Code. So what I wrote here is I want you to give feedback about the landing page, use Playwright MCP, dev server is already running, so it will not start the dev server again. Um, I mentioned use Playwright MCP explicitly just to make sure that it will uh, use it. Uh, sometimes it decides uh, to use it uh, itself, but if you like want to make sure that uh, it uses it, just uh, mention it explicitly. Okay, so you can see that uh, it navigates to localhost 3000, uh, which is when uh, my dev server is running. Uh, it tries to click on uh, all the buttons on the landing page, um, scrolls it automatically, making screenshots. It just tested uh, light mode, which was default. Then it switched to dark mode. Now I guess it will uh, look into uh, the landing page in dark mode. 
when I switch back to uh, Claude, it asks me if uh, I allow it to read this PNG file. Yes. Okay. So um, you see all the logs here, like playwright, click element, playwright, take a screenshot, uh, read image, page dot close. So it means that it closed the browser. Um, yeah, and uh, here we go. So landing page feedback, strength, uh, areas for improvement. Uh, so you see how um, how it used visuals. Uh, I can ask it to test uh, mobile landing page as well, and uh, it will uh, resize the browser to see how it looks like on mobile. Another useful application I wanted to show you is uh, debugging. So let's say I accidentally deleted this uh, section closing tag. Um, Save the file. I go. I go to my debug server, and uh, I see that there is an error. Uh, but I don't know how to fix it. I can ask uh, fix error on the landing page. Use playwright. You see that it identified that uh, there's section tag missing. Um, you can see that uh, it fixed the file. And now it wants to navigate to this page back again and to test that everything works fine. Cool, fixed there uh, was a missing section. Uh, so I have uh, fixed code, and I know that uh, it actually checked in the browser that uh, it is fixed. This was all for today. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.